pray silence for squadron leader Tom Neal. Mr. Mayor, Chief of the Air Staff, honoured guests, ladies and gentlemen. Well, the Battle of Britain is 70 years old this year, and I've always considered it an enormous privilege to have been involved in the fighting from start to finish. Well, I'm almost 90 now, a couple of weeks, and I'm one of about 20 remaining veterans, I hate the world veteran, still reasonably active. There are, of course, another 60 of us still alive, but less able to get about and take part in such splendid occasions as this. Our average age during the Battle of Britain was 21. And the age of those of us remaining is now 93 and we are dying off at the rate of 30 a year. So those of you with Ox the Oxford education will realize that in three years' time, it's more than likely that uh, the rest of us will be up there with the fairies. Well, the Battle of Britain was all about the struggle for air supremacy in the weeks before the planned German invasion of Britain. Without the complete command of the air, the Germans knew they could never succeed. The RAF was to deploy around London and the southern counties about 35 squadrons of fighters. That amounts to 650 aircraft, but the Luftwaffe had available to it about 4,000 fighters and bombers and they used about 3,700. Now the German aim was threefold really, to shoot down our fighters, to render our airfields unusable, and to destroy our aircraft factories. They were supremely confident. They just walked through Europe, pushing everything in front of them. And Hermann Goering, the head of the Air Force, told Hitler that in seven days, the RAF fighter command would be destroyed. Well, the engagement lasted about 16 weeks, four months. It officially started on the 10th of July, 1940, and finished on the 31st of October. Actually, the dates don't mean a thing because they were arrived at th th three years after the event. My first association with the enemy came well before the 10th of July, and my squadron was flighting fiercely throughout November and even into December. There were 2,947 of us, give or take a few, depending on which historian you read, 80% of whom came from the United Kingdom. This total number included about 250 chaps from the Dominions, from New Zealand, from Canada, from South Africa, from Australia. Another 250 came from the subjugated countries such as Poles, Polish, and Czechs, and of course the Polish squadron, 303 squadron flying from North Holt, you probably heard all about it. And there were a few, a handful of uh, uh, chaps from other squadron, uh, other countries. During the fighting, the 16 weeks, 1,100 RAF aircraft were shot down. And we lost about 550 pilots killed and a further 600 wounded or injured or horribly burned. The Luftwaffe, Luftwaffe lost about 1,800 aircraft and around 2,000 700 air crew, as each bomber, of course, carried four people. 
And German aircraft, uh, German airmen shot down over England were, of course, lost forever. A lot of our pilots, RF pilots, lived to fight again because they bailed out or crashed and went badly injured. Finally, German intelligence wrongly reported throughout that RAF strength was being systematically eroded, whereas the number of Spitfires and Hurricanes available at the end of the battle was, in fact, increased to about a thousand. Well, so much for the statistics.